for second active scene. Uh, this is outside George Washington University Hospital, Sierra. That's where they took both those injured officers, and we learned not long after this happened at 1 o'clock that one of those officers had succumbed to their injuries. Yes, that's right, Marina. The scene here has calmed down about an hour ago. There's tons of cops and vehicles. Let's show you video of the funeral procession that just left here to honor the life of Officer William Billy Evans. It was an incredible sight to see. Absolutely heartbreaking. Doctors and nurses ran outside to pay their respect. We also saw tears coming down the eyes of Metropolitan Police officers as well as Capitol Police officers. You could just feel and sense their pain and the pain all around the atmosphere, even if you aren't an officer, just people who are here visiting D.C. and the people who live here, they're absolutely saddened by this incident. This has been such a difficult year for the Capitol Police Force, especially after what happened on January 6th. This is the third officer to die this year, and I want to read what the Secretary of Defense just released a statement saying events like this remind us of the bravery and skill of law enforcement professionals and our shared commitment to protect and defending this great country and its institutions. And it is important to note there still is another Capitol Police officer in the hospital right now. We're waiting to hear more about how they're recovering.